I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 facts about albinism we might want to be aware of. Hey, Tristan, do you think that the knowledge of albino is called albino knowledge? <laughs> that one pained me. Twenty-five. Albinism is a congenital, meaning existing at or before birth, disorder caused by reduced or the complete absence of melanin, the pigment responsible for giving color to our skin, eyes, and hair. Albinism is sometimes known as hypopigmentation. Twenty-four. People with albinism can live long, healthy lives, just as anyone else. The biggest danger comes from skin cancer, which develops more easily from unprotected sun exposure. 23. While it's commonly thought people with albinism have pink or red eyes, their irises vary in color from light gray to blue, which is most common, and even brown. The reddish color comes from light reflected off the back of the eye, in the same way as camera flashes sometimes produce images with red eye. 22. People with albinism often have one or a few eye conditions, including poor eyesight, involuntary eye movements, and sensitivity to light. 21. Herman Melville's famous book Moby Dick is based on a real whale with albinism known as Mocha Dick. The white whale of the Pacific, Mocha Dick was a destructive sperm whale living near Mocha Island off of southern Chile who survived countless attacks from whalers and retaliated fiercely when attacked. 20. The cause of albinism is cellular. Malfunctioning genes don't produce melanin and cannot be made to. 19. Though the disorder is found in about 1 in 20,000 people in the U.S., its prevalence is higher for other parts of the world, where it can be as high as 1 in every 3,000 people in some parts of Africa. 18. People with albinism synthesize vitamin D five times faster than dark-skinned people. Since vitamin D is produced when ultraviolet B light enters the skin, the lack of pigmentation means the light can enter more easily. 17. Though albinism does not require treatment, the skin and eye conditions which accompany it often do need specialized treatment. 16. Many types of albinism exist. Oculocutaneous albinism is the most common and most severe, with the person's hair and skin remaining a pale white color throughout their lives. 15. Some children born with less severe forms of albinism are born with white hair and skin, which slightly darkens as they grow older. 14. Various other pigmentation disorders exist, such as erythrism, excessive red pigmentation, xanthochromism, yellow pigmentation, and vitiligo, loss of pigmentation in patches on the skin. 13. 1 in 17,000 people have some form of albinism gene. Though it affects the sexes equally, males are more likely to have ocular albinism, a lack of pigment in the eyes. 12. People with albinism face persecution and bullying all over the world. Some of this comes from beliefs that they are cursed or that their body parts have magical powers when used by witch doctors. 11. Albinism can occur in any vertebrate in the animal world as well. 10. In some cultures, albino animals are highly regarded. Native Americans, for example, would revere white bison as symbols of power and good luck and ensure they were not harmed. 9. Around 1 in 70 people carry one albinism gene. If both parents carry the albinism gene, there's a 25% chance that the child will be born with the disorder. 8. To be born with albinism, a baby must have defective genes from both parents. If the baby inherits one normal and one albinism gene, enough melanin will be produced by the normal gene. 7. One of the most severe types of albinism is known as hermansky pudlak syndrome. People with this variation are prone to bleeding, bruising, and lung disease. 6. Related to albinism is a skin condition called vitiligo, which I mentioned earlier, where only some parts of the skin lose their pigment. Notable people to have vitiligo include the late Michael Jackson and America's Next Top Model contestant, Winnie Harlow. 5. Albinism is most common in various groups of Sub-Saharan Africa. Some evolutionary biologists argue that when we transitioned from primate to hominid and lost most of our hair, the skin below the now non-existent hair would have been pale. People who produced more melanin, and thus had darker skin, are thought to have had an evolutionary advantage. 4. 
Scientists can test if a patient has an albino gene by testing if a hair follicle produces melanin. 3. Some lesser informed men in East Africa, especially Tanzania, which has the largest population of people with albinism in Africa, believe that the mother of an albino child was unfaithful with a white man, or that the baby is the ghost of a former European colonist. 2. Currently, there is no treatment which can cause the body to produce melanin and lessen the symptoms of albinism. 1. To sum it up, albinism is genetic, and thus is not contagious, and it doesn't make anyone less of a person. It's as genetic as having brown hair or blonde hair, and we don't think any less of people with brown or blonde hair, so why should anyone think differently about a person with albinism? Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.